a poem about love and family. I'm sorry. You are late. I think I should have one. with it. Uh -huh. Well, here we are. Daddy, please don't go. Don't go? Now, if I don't go, now who will organize that special present for your birthday? Special present? Yeah. Very special. Huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the chariots are waiting to you, princess. Daddy, please, I'm not old. <laughs> well, even when you're old enough, even an old woman, you'll still be my princess. Okay? Alright, in you go. So thank you for being here on time. Well, I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Alright then, All right. goodbye. See you later. Drive safely.
Will you meet my children? What? <laughs> Wait, you want me to meet your kids? Are you sure? Yeah. Look, it's been three years since Dorothy and I divorced. And the kids are old enough now. And I thought that you could become friends with them and then we could hang out together. Okay. Tell me, why do you want me to meet your kids? Because I... Go on, see it. Go on, see it. You see, you never see it. Patrick, I know you're the strong, silent type, but, you know, it feels good to hear you say it. I, 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 no, don't say it. It goes away. But I don't want you to go away. There's your magic wand, sweetie! <laughs> Mommy! Yay! Thank you. Mommy, can I ground wishes with my magic wand? Yes, sweetie. Now all you have to do is actually wave it three times. One, two, three. And your wishes will come true. Mommy, do you want anything? Hmm. Nope. I've already had all my wishes come true, which is you. Mommy, tell me again how I was born. Okay. Ooh, ooh, it was heavy. Okay. I was in the hospital one night. Your dad was stuck in a traffic jam. I was alone. There were no nurses around. Were you scared? Yeah, I was. But after I delivered you, all my fear vanished. Because I always knew you'd be there with me. Mama, I'm also just scared because you're always here with me. Yes, sweetie. That's what mothers do. To be there for their daughters. Forever and ever. She's here and I'm just getting her ready for her party. She wants to be a fairy, a magical fairy. Listen, um, don't be late, okay? And uh, don't forget to bring the cake when you're coming. Don't worry, I won't be late. Right. Indy, is it okay if I bring a friend? Yeah, of course. Does he work with you? Yes. And is a she? It's Kendra. Hey, don't be nervous. They'll love you. Are you sure? Yeah. Trust me. You'll be fine. Right, okay, let's do this. party going? Very good. And where's your sister? <laughs> hey. Hey. Wow, you all look wonderful. 
Okay, you got me scared there. Who is there to be scared? Daddy, I'm here. Of course, with my little angel by me. What's to be scared, right? Of course, I'm angel. Hey, and... Um, Daddy, have you forgotten my love Of course not. You want to see? Yes. Hey, okay. Who is she? Well, she's a friend. You want to meet her? Yes. Okay. Friend, meaning... Well, kids, this is Kendra. Kendra, these are my children. Kids, this is Kendra. <laughs> Happy birthday, Angie! Oh, my kid! Oh, my God. Are you okay? Is she alright? Uh, yeah. You ruined my cake. You wicked bitch. Angie, stop it! You've ruined my sister's cake. You've ruined the whole party! Christine! That's your father's gift. Be nice! Please, can you show me where the washroom is? Down the it's corridor. Just, it's just the right. I'm so sorry. Right. Sorry, I'll sort this out. Hey, I promise you, this will be the best thing ever. Okay, okay. thank you. Come on, should dance, okay? Please, everybody, have fun. How are you doing? Hello. You look so pretty. Have fun, have fun. Let me see you dance it. Yes. <laughs> Give me one dance. Give me one dance. I always ruin things. This was my only chance to, to meet up with the kids and I messed it all up. Think about it. They couldn't have had a more entertaining party. Yeah, right. What? Kendra the clown, right? This was my only chance to become their friend. And now, what am I now? A wicked witch. Listen, slowly you will become friends. It's okay. into this house this wouldn't have happened now listen I don't care about your personal life and everything but please don't involve her into our lives don't baby I'm, I'm so sorry okay, okay. You listen okay? you want to understand I need to sort this out okay meet me at home okay? Patrick Wicked witch. Oh my goodness. She's really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, was that dad's girlfriend? No, daddy has no girlfriend. He's my daddy. Then why did he bring her here? Listen, kids. 
I promise that I won't let it happen again. Why don't you do something? She'll take that away from us. She can't do that. Mommy won't allow it. Just shut up. Why can't you understand? Mom and Dad are divorced, which means Dad can marry anyone, even her. Chris, Christine! Mommy, what if she comes here? Well, sweetie, we'll just have to pour water on her. Remember that witches melt in water? Okay? That is the reason why they don't even take their baths. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. So, how did it go with the kids? Oh, monsters! They were monsters in the children's disguise. Really? And what did Patrick say? Well, he said everything is all right, and maybe we'll meet in a few days and try and work things out again. Oh, maybe. This time it's going to be better. Sweetie, I never, ever want to meet those kids again. Never, ever. <laughs> oh, Kendra, never say never. That's not good enough. Patrick. Hey, baby. <sighs> the kids? <sighs> okay, all right. Are you okay? Good thing for you. Bye. Are you okay? I should have never said never. <laughs> Sweetie, I need to get going, okay? I'm picking up the kids. Okay, I'll you. see you around. Right. All right, bye. Is everything all right? All right, sort it out yourself. Hold on. Hello, Daniel. Hi, Christine, darling. I'm really sorry, sweetheart. My photo shoot was delayed. I missed my flight. You guys were alone there, and I tried calling your mom, but her phone is switched off. You are supposed to fetch us for the weekend. You are supposed to stay with you, not with her. Christine, she's not as bad as you think. She's left everything she's doing to help you guys. You are the older one. You should understand. Okay, I know you help her. Alright. Okay. I'm going to with him. Have your fun! Let's go. Let's go! Okay? Yes. Okay, um, let me clean your father's room, okay? okay. I'll be right back. Sleep here with your father, okay? And where will you sleep? Um, I guess I'll stay in the guest room, okay? Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Okay. I will be fine. <laughs> okay, let me make you guys some dinner, okay? okay. Alright. Uh, let me just make dinner, okay? Bye. Bye. Why is my mom's 
can switch it off. I don't know. Maybe she went somewhere else to rest since you guys have been worrying her. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm just kidding. Dinner is ready. What is that? It is spaghetti. If I eat this, will I fall asleep for 100 years? Not at all, darling. Try some. Yeah. No. I want my Mickey Mouse plate and spoon. Angie, please take the food. Okay, I'm sure you like it. Let's try it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, you both! You monsters! I'll spot you both! You damn it! I'm so sorry for everything that I said, okay? You guys haven't eaten anything. Please just take something. Please. I said I'm sorry. You know, ever since we met, things have not been going on well between us. And I only said I wasn't your mother because you already have a mom. We can be friends. Yeah. Christine. Never say never. Kids, where is my husband? Ex-husband. What? Listen, Patrick is not around, okay? He's in Nigeria. His shoot delayed and everything is all right. Okay? Can I talk to my kids? Please? Of course. Sure. Hold on. Phone call! Christine! Your mom. Your mom is on the line. Mommy, the wicked witch has kidnapped us. Shut up, Angie. Hello, Mommy. Where are you? How could you do this? Baby, I am so sorry. I didn't know your dad couldn't make it. So come right now and pick us. Sweetheart, listen, I can't. I promised Auntie Anne that I have to be next to her. You know, she's all alone, okay? But you promised. Mom, when are you coming? You don't like her. Calm down. I will come tomorrow morning. I promise. Okay? Hello, Mommy. I miss seeing you. If I have my magic one with me right now, you'll be here in a second. But I've forgotten it in the house. Sweetheart, listen, who said you need a magic one for us to meet? Really? How? Magic? This is what you do. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now focus and concentrate. There's this big cloud. And on top of that cloud, there's this table. And on top of that table, there's this delicious, yummy, huge strawberry cake oozing with so much ice. Can you see it? No, mommy. Be patient, my love. Look harder. Now, as the cloud moves closer and closer to the moon, it becomes more visible. Can you see it? 
Yes, mommy, I can see. It's strawberry ice cream. Yummy! Mommy, come quickly before it melts. Don't eat too much, Charlie. Have you forgotten it's just a dream? It is just a dream. I love you. I love you too, mom. breakfast. I did not make it. Why? Have you brushed your teeth? No. Okay, then no breakfast. Guys, listen. The rule in this house is everybody has to work. Okay, and my job is to make breakfast. So if you haven't brushed your teeth, you haven't cleaned your room, I'm sorry. No breakfast for you. What's that? Oh, that? This is a sandwich. And it has tomatoes, it has cheese, it has butter, it has all the yummy things in the world. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? A little bit of politeness will be good to begin with. You have? Okay, good. I'm gonna make you breakfast, okay? Stop it, Angie. Do not listen to her. Remember, she ruined your cake. <laughs> We're gonna go out too, okay? Mom is not around, let's go. Breakfast for you! Breakfast coming! Breakfast on the way! Likewise, I know you're also feeling the same there. My name has always been Kweku Anderson Friend Point. Just call me Calf Junior. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a kind of program I wouldn't hesitate to host. But hey, don't forget I'm not the only person hosting this program. I have with me a very beautiful woman. With round of applause, please. Let's welcome Isabella J. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Wow. I see so much beauty in the house tonight. This only goes to ascertain the fact that it is truly a night of fashion. But mind you, we are not only here to witness the beauty, palm and pageantry that goes with fashion, but also we are here to gather three best designers in Africa who will be the beneficiaries of the Charles Williams Fund. All right, ladies and gentlemen, whilst we wait to honor those designers, don't forget this program is brought to you by Rhinos Innovations Concepts. We're going for a very quick commercial break. And when we come back, the show continues. Oh my goodness, honey, I'm so sorry I'm late. How's everything? Are these the little monsters you're working with? Mommy, did you just call them monsters? Call us monsters. That's rude. 
They also called me a witch. And that was rude. Oh, sit down, sit down. Guys, so sit down. Oh my god, Kendra, this is so gonna be a fucking disaster. I am so sorry. Um, is everything okay? Perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, and the hair and makeup. How's the hair? Makeup? Perfect. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Pami. Please forgive me. Okay. Oh my god.
everybody over here is having a wonderful evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in, and this is what I call the moment of truth. Wow, it has not been easy at all. It has been a very tough competition. But finally, we have the three designers. And they are from South Africa, Johannesburg, Charles Phillips. <laughs> Anna. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as a host, I am in the right position to bring to you the second winner from Lagos, Nigeria, Julia. Thank you very much. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. For our grand winner, for this very 